like a hell cut. Hello friends, today our topic is we have to find magnitude and phase response and the equation is now this is the difference equation. So the, you can see the difference equation is y of n is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 4. Now we will see some simple steps how we can find that. So first we have to use z transform to convert this dis difference equation into transfer function. So we have to use the z transform. So answer would be y, y of z is equal to x of z plus z raised to minus 4 x of z. Now we have to club so h of z is equal to y of z by x of z. So the answer would be 1 plus z minus 4. So the first step is very simple to use z transform and to find the transfer function that is h of z. Now the second step is we have to convert this z transform into dtft. So how we can convert simply put z is equal to e raised to j omega. So this equation will change now right. So h of e raised to j omega would be equal to 1 plus e raised to minus j omega into 4 right i have simply replaced z with e raised to j omega now your question is how we can find magnitude and phase response from this equation now in the mind you have to know that somehow i have to convert this h of e raised to j omega in the form mod of h of e raised to j omega and angle of h of e raised to j omega if i can find this this means i can find the magnitude as well as i can find the phase response Now we have to find magnitude and phase response from this equation. So basically I have to somehow convert this equation in the form some magnitude and some angle. Now how I will go for this is the steps here. Now these are the important steps. You have to take a very special care on this. Why? Let's see that. See I have splitted this equation or let's say this term like e raised to minus j omega 4 in the form e raised to minus j omega 2 into e raised to minus j omega 2 because this both are same if i multiply this two i will get this right and i have splitted that now i have taken one term common so you can see e raised to minus 2j omega is common now this bracket will be e raised to 2j omega because if both multiply we get the first term that is 1 plus if this both are multiplied we get the second term that is e raised to minus j omega into 4. So this is the simplification in the second step. In the third step you have to note again why because we have used one formula. The formula says if we have e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta upon 2 this is equal to cos of theta. Now this is the trigo formula which you should know. So in third step you can note that e raised to j theta plus e raised to minus j theta now theta is in our case our theta is 2 omega you can note that e raised to j into theta theta is 2 omega now multiply divide by 2 so we get one 2 extra here into e raised to minus 2 j omega this term now this is again converted into cos of 2 omega because our theta is 2 omega so this is a very important step so please take a special care note this step now let's take a quick recap see first step we took the z transform so difference equation was converted into transfer function h of z and we got one equation now the second step was to use the dtft so that we can get magnitude and phase response so to do dtft z is equal to e raised to j omega now we got this equation after getting this equation in our mind we know that we have to uh, somehow we have to get this equation some mod and some angle now you can note that we got some mod and some angle that's what our step was so to get that we use the smart way so this is the smart way we have some traditional approach Tra traditional approach says uh, we have to find the real and imaginary terms then we have to use some formula to get the mod and angle so we are keeping that aside we are using the smart way so we have used this we have splitted the terms we 
took the common part uh, common part out then we use the trigo formula to land up here so our mod of h of e raised to j omega is equal to 2 times cos of 2 omega you can note that this term and this term but our angle of h of e raised to j omega is equal to you can note that this can be written as e raised to some angle so the angle is minus 2 omega so ultimately we need this values and we got that so we have to draw the first graph or let's say the first plot is the magnitude plot so which equation we will use first equation so the first equation is this 2 times cos of 2 omega now the very important step is we have to take the positive value of those so let's check uh, if you don't use this mod you will get the graph wrong how we will get the graph let's see that so in the y axis we will have the magnitude that is the amplitude and in x axis we will have the frequency that is the omega now the first point is the zero point so when omega is zero we will get two times cos of zero now cos of zero is one so magnitude is 2 into 1 that is 2 so the first graph we have is 2 now let's take various points that is pi by 4 pi by 2 minus pi by 4 minus pi by 2 and so on now what is the significance of this point see when omega is pi by 4 this term becomes cos of pi by 2 now cos of pi by 2 means the value is 0 so 0 into 2 is again 0 so from 2 we will go to 0 Similarly, let's put minus pi by 2, uh, sorry, minus pi by 4. So, complete value of this would be cos of minus pi by 2. Again, minus pi by 2, value is 0. So, from 2, we will go to 0. Now, at pi by 2, cos of 2 into pi by 2, that is cos pi complete, cos pi means minus 2. Since we are using the mod, the value would be 2. So, this was the importance of the mod. So, again, we will go up and we will get 2 if you miss this you will land up at wrong plot that is you will go downwards so this is the first important point when we talk about magnitude plot so we are using the mod so we will take the positive value similarly and at 3 pi by 4 it will go down and so on so this is the graph and this is the magnitude plot we have used this equation the important point was to use those mod so that when the value is negative we will still get the positive amplitude so you have to take the omega such a way that when omega is pi by 4 you get cos of pi by 2 then add again pi by 4 to the next value that is pi by 2 so pi by uh, 4 plus pi by 4 is equal to pi by 2 now substitute that you will get some value so first value that is omega is important because after that we add that value again and again right so you have to choose such that you get some uh, constant value like 0 or 1 now the second plot is the phase plot now this is a very tricky part because we will find the phase plot at two points once we get that we will repeat that pattern in the right hand side as well as in the left hand side so the second point is the phase plot and take a special care again so our value is mod uh, sorry angle of e raised to j omega is equal to minus 2 omega so this is a linear graph you can see the equation so this is the linear graph in x axis we will have omega in y axis we will have the angle so angle of h of e raised to j omega now the first point is 0 so at 0 the value is 0 ok cool now we will move further so in the mod part the first value you took was pi by 4 all right so let's take pi by 4 here now what is the value minus 2 into pi by 4 so the overall value is minus pi by 2 so at pi by 4 you will land up at minus pi by 2 right and when we go in the opposite direction that is minus pi by 4 you will land up at value Put that value minus pi by 4 so minus 2 into minus pi by 4 answer would be minus pi by uh, minus into minus would be plus and after cancellation you will get pi by 2 so you have to note that at 0 the value is 0 at pi by 4 the value is minus pi by 2 
at minus pi by 4 the value is pi by 2 so now you can see you have a linear graph now you have to repeat this pattern in the right hand side as well as in the left hand side so the next point pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is pi by 2 so the next point is this after that the next point would be 3 pi by 4 and after that pi and so on similarly in the left hand side minus pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 4 minus pi and so on so if this pattern repeats this means that at pi by 4 we will get this point and again pi by 2 we will get 0 and we move further we will get this so if we move further in the left hand side you can see again we will get 0 at minus pi by 2 then further this value and so on so this would be the graph in the left hand side as well as in the right hand side now your question would be why now the answer for this is little bit complicated but let's try to understand first point you have to understand is the mod value see we have two cause of this value now this is the reason why the pattern repeats after minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 whatever we gra uh, the graph we get repeats same in the right hand side as well as in the left hand side so this range was because of this value now let's understand this see the bracket value is 2 omega now if we put omega is pi by 4 we will get pi by 2 all right if we talk about positive as well as negative value so minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so these are the extreme ranges if our equation let's say if our value exceed this we have to add plus pi minus uh, plus 2 pi and so on in the right hand side and minus pi minus 2 pi in the left hand side so let's take one value where the value exceed from pi by 2 in the right hand side let's say the value is this 3 pi by 4 so if we put 3 pi by 4 what will happen minus 2 into 3 pi by 4 so we get minus 3 pi by 2 right now so we have to add plus pi so if I add plus pi to this value what I will get minus pi by 2 so you can note that this point is because of that now if I exceed further like, like let's say here it would be pi right if I put pi I will get minus 2 pi first I have done plus pi next I should do plus 2 pi so here if I add again plus 2 pi I get 0 so you can note that at omega is pi the value I get is minus pi minus 2 pi again if omega is pi the value I get is minus 2 pi now in the first step I have used plus pi so second is plus 2 pi so so minus 2 pi plus 2 pi overall value 0 so you can note that this value is because of that so the final step is to find y of n now this is again a little bit tricky part how y of n is equal to x of n converted with h of n we all know so somehow h of n is multiplied with x of n to get the value of y of n so in this question what we will do is we will find y of n if we multiply mod of h of e raised to j omega so let's say mod of h of omega where omega is pi by 4 because we have two omega see the first term the second term so the first term we have omega is pi by 4 in second term we have omega is pi by 2 so first we have to multiply mod and we have to add angle so angle at pi by 4 then we have second term again we have to multiply mod omega is pi by 2 and we have to add angle so pi by 2 plus angle of omega at pi by 2 and into n so if you have find this in magnitude and phase plot you know that so in magnitude and phase plot we have already found this values so I am taking that values so mod of h of omega where omega is pi by 4 the value of the magnitude is 0 so this term has become redundant 0 into something is 0 when we talk about the second term that is mod of h of omega where omega is pi by 2 the value of this is 2 so 2 into again cos of this term so cos of pi by 2 plus the angle at omega is pi by 2 now the value of this from the plot is 0 
so you can note that the overall value of y of n right is 2 times cos of pi by 2 plus 0 and n that is 2 times cos of pi by 2 n now let's take a quick recap what we have done is we have to find magnitude and phase plot to find this we have difference equation we use this difference equation to find h of z so what is the step involved is to take the z transform after getting h of z the second step we do is to find h of e raised to j omega now how we can find that so first step was to use z transform how we can find that is using dtft that is replace z with e raised to j omega after this we went for magnitude and angle of h so mod of h and angle of h how we find that using the smart technique using the trigo as well as splitting the terms then further we plotted the graph and we found the value plotted the graph and we found the values now why this is important so basically here we use for finding the mod we simply substituted the values of omega but when we talk about angle we saw some concept like the extreme ranges pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 and and the second point was the repetition of graph so repetition of so graph was repeated and further we saw how can we find y of n if x of n is given so how we found multiply mod and add angle so this is the overall flow if we have to find the plot we need mod and h of uh, mod and angle we will get this from h of e raised to j omega h of e raised to j omega is found from h of z where h of z is found from difference equation now this was the completely different part but this is maximum asked in the question this is also asked so this is important because the steps are different multiply mod add angle here it is very simple to find mod and h of omega तो फ्रेंड्स अगर आपको मेरी वीडियो पसंद आ रही हो देन टू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिंग जैन पीस आउट